facilitate understanding how we can do a item receipt on an item group and then understand the code example. Let me show you a purchase order that contains a standard item as well as an item group item. We'll go into a receive function. NetSuite will normally load with its items tab, but we have our custom receipts tab that is easier for the user to be able to receive against. The first line is a standard item, we'll receive five, and the next item is the bundle, let's just assume we'll receive three. They'll go ahead and they commit the order or the receipt. And now what you'll see is, is that the standard item receipt or items pass through the member elements that were part of the purchase order. Here is the standard item, and this next two are elements of the item group. On the receipts tab, you can see what was saved. And here you can see the a NetSuite's native. And now the company code example can help explain the work that we did to get this dynamic receipts tab, which is only done in memory, and how we take that apart up on the server to do the work on behalf of the user to uh, receive at the item level.